believe this, Jamie. I mean, who hides evidence this close to home? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything, was I? The guy we hired, he knew what he was doing, so... Clayton, no one saw him. I doubt I'd be here now if he'd been seen. So whatever Andrew is saying, it's her word against mine. And the words of a bitter ex-wife don't mean much, do they? Well, she's a tit too, though. Yeah, but only in name. Not in money. And money has a way of shutting the small people up, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess. Look, look, it's all good, Belle. Really. I mean, no one's going to go looking in there, are they? Why would they? And look, I, I want you to know. It'll never be lost on me what you've done. Sticking by me. I mean, most wouldn't. Most would run a mile. Jamie. Look, I need to say this. I, I wouldn't have got through any of this without you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now's not the time. I want to tell you I love you. Because you know I do. More than I've loved anyone. Don't think about running. Why would I run? I know what you did. I know it all. Kane. I did nothing wrong, okay? Any jury would... Not a fan of juries. No, please. <sighs> really? You don't understand. Oh, but I do. After everything that he's done, you're still trying to protect him. Because she loves me. She'd never throw me under the bus. Wrong choice of words. I'm not protecting him, Ken. I'm protecting you. Well? From yourself. Well, I'll take my chance. No, you won't. All right, you're not going to touch him. Because I've called the police and they'll be here any minute. To arrest you for the hit and run. <laughs> 